In today's video, we got a Panasonic plasma that's pretty much dead. When you first plug it in, you can hit the power button. You hear a click, you get a red light, and then nothing. No image, no picture, and it's non-responsive to the power button after that. So here on the SN board, it has a handful of components that are giving me either shorts or really low ohm readings. We have some transistors, some diodes, and some IGBTs that are bad. Uh, so we have, well, let's see here, yeah. This one from uh, emitter to collector is shorted. Uh, next one bad. Here we have a dead short across all three. This whole row of components is showing uh, a dead short across all three, all three leads. So next I'm gonna remove the components from the circuit, test them uh, out of the circuit. Sometimes these components will be in parallel, so if one is short, they'll all show up as shorts. So I wanna see how much damage we really have and go from there. Once I pulled the transistors and the IGBTs, the short across the diodes went away. So the diodes are fine, they're back on the board. So this one, what this board needs is it needs the uh, DG302, it needs just one of those. That's this guy here. Uh, he is the transistor located at the top. And then it needs four of the 30 F131 uh, IGBTs. Uh, the rest of the components are testing it okay now that these are removed from the circuit. This appears to be a common TV with a common problem. There are many kits available. I saw, I don't know, probably three, four, or five different sellers selling kits to repair this. But only some of the kits came with the DG302 transistor that I needed. That's this top one here. Uh, some of the kits only included the uh, IGBTs and diodes, but didn't include the DG302, but they would include the gate resistors. This kit does not include the gate resistors, but I went through and checked them all, and they're all consistent and healthy, uh, so I'm not going to bother worrying about the gate resistors. Uh, that would be this one here, and the one here here, here, here. They're all fine. Uh, I got this kit from Coppel TV Repair on eBay. It was $15 shipped, I believe, and it has what I need. Oh, it even came with this little guy here. I'm not sure where this is. The, I'll find out now. But anyways, it came with uh, everything I needed that were blown. So I'm gonna get started and start installing parts.
Dashboard's cleaned up, reinstalled. I did use bottom heat when replacing the components, which wasn't necessary, but it did help. Uh, the Also, if you're doing this repair, uh, check your gate resistors. There's one for each IGBT. They are 7.5 ohms. All the ones on this TV were fine, but uh, you should check yours. Um, also, all the screws were loose. All the grounding screws on basically the three main boards were loose, so I did go through and tighten those, so check yours. Uh, and now for the moment of truth, we'll plug it in and see Let's see what happens. Got some clicks. Let's come around. And we hit the power button. Red lights on, and look at that, we have some image. And there it is. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.